Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Natalie. Are you loving the green ship page builder and want to learn more about how to make a wholesome blog with a design layout to see on other websites? In this video, follow along as I am about to build a WordPress Gutenberg blog with amazing functionalities such as sticky sidebar and the query loop builder. GreenShift is an all-in-one WordPress animation and page builder plugin. This ultimate Gutenberg block builder suite for WordPress provides all the tools you need to create a stunning, functional website without the trouble of dealing with non-Gutenberg builders. I'm assuming you have already chosen the hosting provider and the domain services. We will create a single post template with a table of contents and a sticky sidebar, then we will use the powerful features of the GreenShift Query Loop Builder to make the blog page with filtering options for you getting started. Coming back to our WordPress dashboard, we can now start building the actual website. What we are going to do next is to install the theme. We need to go over to the Appearance tab and click on Themes. Once you get here, you see I have already installed the GreenShift Companion theme. A question I got a lot is does the GreenShift plugin need a theme like the Astro theme or the Cadence theme or the Bloxy theme? The answer to that question is no. Although the GreenShift plugin integrates with these themes, you actually can use the green shift theme. It's absolutely free of charge. It's available from here. All you have to do to get it is to click on the add new button and then run a quick search for the green shift theme. Then you just need to click on the install button. Once finished, click once more so it's activated and that's it. Next, what we need to do is to add our site title. To do this, we are moving over to the Settings tab and then click on General. The title can be anything you like. I have my title as Windshift, but I'm going to change it into Sites with Natalie. So under the site title, you just type in Sites with Natalie for me and underneath you can also insert the tagline. Once you have inserted, all you have to do is to scroll down and click on the Save Changes button. The next thing I'm going to show you is to how to assign the front page display to a WordPress full site editing website. So it's under the same settings, so open settings and this time click on the Reading tab. All you have to do now is to select the page you want to display. You can create a custom page with your content and then you choose it from here. The blog page is also determined here as well. At this point, blog posts are set to blog but you can determine another one. The blog page will be generated and will display all your posts and will update each time you publish a new post. I will show this in a few seconds. The next step is to create or edit the template from the site editor. Since working with full site editing themes is different from using the standard WordPress themes. So open the site editor tab we are moved into the theme site editor. We have available all of these templates and the front page is the home page. If I click on top of it, what you are seeing is the home page. It's possible to fully customize the default home page layout using the site editor theme. To edit, simply click on this on this three dots line to clear all the customizations or just click the template and then to start editing simply select the block you want to change. 
Next, make sure you have set the themes default home page as your site homes page under the settings and the reading tab in your WordPress dashboard. If you are using a static page, like me, you will edit your front page template to edit the design of your home page. To create a separate blog page for your blog posts, it's quite easy. All you have to do is to create a new, a new page. Let's do this. Navigate over to pages and click on the add new link. I call it news. Later on, we will be building up from the site editor. You don't need to add any content and you can name it anything you like. Once that's done, head over, you just click publish twice. Head over now to the settings tab and click on the reading. Now under the home page display section, click on the head static page and select the news page. Just create it and save your changes. This is what I have built so far. As you are watching, as I scroll down the page, the sidebar holding the table of contents is sticky. Let's recreate this. Just click Add New from the Posts tab. Give it a name, I call it Tutorial. From the right panel, you determine here the template you want to use. So click on template. Under the template section, we have access to all of these six options. Green Shift also has three options available and it's similar to Elementor Canvas. I stick to the default template because I just want to show you guys two things, the table of contents and the sticky functionality. So click on the plus icon to add a block. I'm going to use the row block, these two columns, and then I select this structure. For the, right, for the left column, I assign a 70 width, and the, for the second column, I, assign, I want a 30% width. I'm going to insert some colors. Okay, so for the left column, I want to use an advanced, this one, advanced, advanced heading, and then an advanced text. Because we will be using the table of contents to the right, you need to assign some HTML text. So for this one, I just need to copy and paste. You can use the site editor itself, or you can use this tab content and then paste here. All right, then I duplicate and I move down with the down arrow. So this is the, the design for my left column. And now let's insert the table of contents with a sticky feature functionality. So click on the plus icon and do a, run a quick search for table of contents. This one. The table of content is generated instantly and utilizes the HTML tags. I had it to match my design layout. To get the sticky functionality, click on the advanced tab. Under position, determine the sticky position. And you must determine a value to one of these four values. On top, I assign five pixels. And if you need, you may use the Z index. Let's try with a 10 value. And now I could do my editing work. And this is the final result. This sticky feature is related to the page. As the user scrolls down the page, he clearly sees the table of contents. Related to responsive settings, you can hide it for mobiles or not. Let's check now for mobiles and to... The setting is under responsiveness, so scroll down, advanced tab, responsive, and you can hide it on desktop, on tablet, or on mobile and landscape mobile. It's really up to you. 
The Query Loop Builder from GreenShift is an advanced block. It was first added to WordPress Core in version 5.8. It allows anyone to, to visually build a block that pulls and displays post content dynamically to a page or post or a template. You can use it to pull content from any custom post type you may have. It works also for WooCommerce stores to display products. I'm going to show you two possible scenarios, one with the use of a, co a cover block and the other one without the cover block. So let's click on the plus icon, select the container, the green shift container, then run a search for cover, this one, and let's add a background, this one. Let's put it in full width and then a text, a fluid text with a H1, the color white. Then we insert a button and we align it to the center. Okay, this is just an example. Then click on the plus icon and run query loop. This one, I'm gonna delete the button and the paragraph, I don't like it. Select the inner layout to add more content. To do that, select this little pencil icon. Click on the plus icon and let's add, for example, a row with two equal columns. For the first one, I have an icon box. Then we align it to flex start. And for the second column, an advanced text, this one. Now update your changes and let's check what happens next. Click done. As you can see, it loops through published posts to display all of them. It will automatically update as new posts meeting the query parameters. This makes this block useful in many places such as posts or archive templates or even static pages where you want to display things like recent posts dynamically. From the right panel, you locate the parameters for the displays. You can choose between a wide range of options to include to, or to exclude category, tag, by author, to exclude. Let's include the laptop category in it, so to do that, Select the category and then the laptop category. Let's close it and let's move ahead to the data settings. This is where you determine the, the pagination settings. So open up. You can order by posts, by title, that the last modified data and so on. Let's put a random order. You determine here the number of items to display. The pagination type, you have two options, simple pagination or infinite scroll. Let's put simple pagination and there it is. Now for filtering options, you turn on the enable panel. Now you enter, for example, search but you can insert whatever you like. The taxonomy slug you can define between categories, tags, themes, and template part areas. I'm gonna put categories, and on the front end, after you have published, this is in forward, you'd get these beautiful interactions show, showcasing all of your categories. Did you know you can convert the grid design layout into scrollable blocks on mobiles? Let me demonstrate you quickly. So select the container. At the bottom of your right panel, select the query controller and enable the container for query, for query block. So when you are turning on, just like I did it, I'm converting the grid layout to scrollable blocks on mobiles. So on mobiles, all the content is stackable. We will check this in a moment. In the flexible content options, open up, 
you can enable the smart scroll to inner items use the carousel script option as well scrolling down you can set the breakpoint width so it means that the scroll will only start to work only under this value you can also have options to scroll the whole block to disable block buttons and autoplay you also have these extra options to disable arrow on screens with resolutions above the current one the bottom size and for styling the bottoms also I want to mention you can also position and let's enable let's preview for mobile you can control the arrow position in horizontal and vertical and the arrow background you know arrow color that's it with these simple steps you can create a wordpress blog and start sharing your ideas with the world if you need more information regarding this topic i recommend you watch the video you see on the screen right now if you want to buy a full premium green shift license you could use my affiliate link available to you in the description if you found this video valuable to you consider subscribing to the channel so i can grow faster with your help thank you so much for watching see you next time